Hey guys, Rex here from iDrop News. So there was a lot of feedback from the five things you didn't know your iPhone could do video asking for more. I didn't want to disappoint, so here are five more things you didn't know your iPhone could do. Now surely you don't have that lovely family member or friend who just loves to text you at any hour of the day or night, whether you're in a meeting, asleep, or whatever, but just in case you do, let me show you how to mute specific text message notifications. Open up the particular messaging thread and simply switch on the Do Not Disturb option. This will only turn off notifications for this particular person, and don't worry, they will have no idea that you muted them. You can use the same method to turn off notifications when you're in a group text messaging thread as well. So over time, you may notice that your iPhone or iPad battery is draining faster than usual. It may be because of a particular app running in the background. In settings, you can actually check to see which apps are eating up the most battery. Just go to the battery tab and app usage will load up, showing you exactly what apps are taking up the most battery. Usually there's an app that's constantly running in the background that's killing your battery. So the next part of this tip is knowing how to manage those background refreshes. Also in settings, you can go to the general tab, hit background app refresh, and there you can control which apps run in the background. So Apple is always giving Siri new capabilities, and one I didn't realize was available was the ability to have Siri read just about anything on your screen. If you head over to settings, general, accessibility, and then speech, there you can switch on speak selection and speak screen. After you do that, whenever you swipe down from the top of the screen with two fingers, Siri will start reading whatever's on the screen. I'm not sure if this is something I'll use a lot, but it is pretty cool knowing it's there. All right, so the next tip I've got is how to locate a lost iPhone even after the battery dies. So obviously losing an iPhone is scary because of how much these things cost nowadays, but Apple has done us a favor with the Find My iPhone app and you can find most all of your Apple devices now just using the app. Now, Find My iPhone uses the iPhone's built-in GPS, but if it dies, how are you going to find it then? So there's actually a feature in the settings that will allow the iPhone to send its location whenever the battery gets really low. To make sure it's on, go to Settings, iCloud, Find My iPhone, and make sure that Send Last Location is switched on. So now if you lose your iPhone, or iPad or even MacBook, you can just log on to the Find My iPhone app from another device or you can just use iCloud.com as long as you've got your login information and it will show you your iPhone's last known location on a map. It's pretty handy, right? All right, so I've got a quick bonus tip for you guys today. Now, there have been apps around for quite a while that will let you discover what song is playing around you, but Apple recently partnered with Shazam which is a popular app on the iPhone, to give Siri that capability. So now, wherever you are, if you hear a song playing and you're curious who it is, you can just ask Siri, hey, what's playing? She'll listen for a second and then show you who the song is by. And of course, there's the option to buy the song from iTunes. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope that you found some of these tips helpful. Uh, if you want more, just let me know in the comments. And as always, keep it locked right here to iDrop News, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.